my first Festool Sustainer. Oh my goodness. Let me show you what else. Over the last three weeks, I have been pretty busy. And if you look around, this place is a total disaster. And I kind of want to showcase a few things that have been going on over the last few weeks, what I've been busy doing. I think you'll find it interesting. How does a shop like this get this messy? And what does it take to get it back to normal? Come along for the ride. This might be a vlog style, maybe a little extra. Stick around, because this is a behind the scenes look at what's been going on in here and in here over the last few weeks. Let's do it. Well, we're here in Old Town Clovis, gonna bring my car in to get the AC fixed. And uh, if you can hear a Harley nearby, someone's revving it up. There is a hardwood dealer here nearby, just less than a quarter mile away. I'm gonna go check that place out because I got a project coming up that I need wood for. Also, in this area, there's a bunch of antique shops. So I'm gonna go antique browsing. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything, but if I see any cool tools, maybe I'll splurge. We'll see if they have anything like that. It's gonna be fun while the car is in the shop. So let's see what happens. I dropped off my truck with no real plan on getting home. I live too far away to walk, but I did put out some feelers to friends who might be in the area and heading towards my neighborhood. So maybe I'd get a ride. My first destination was a local small business called The Woodshed. The staff there was really helpful and welcoming. They had a bunch of domestic and imported hardwoods, some stuff that's a little more rare to find. They have outgrown their building and said they are looking to expand. Hopefully they can soon because it would make it a lot easier to browse through their hardwood selection. They offer other stuff too, like uh, CNC and water jet cutting amongst other things. They also carry a polyurethane hard wax oil finish called The Good Stuff. I have never heard of it, but they say it's good stuff. After I pulled away from the woodshed, I crisscrossed back to the antique stores. They had just opened and I was able to rummage through a few bins of old tools, but none of them really spoke to me. I felt like I was just getting started and found an old wooden hand plane when suddenly I got a text that I had a ride waiting, so I had to bolt. watched my last video, this is the photo shoot area for this thumbnail that I did. And I had to take all the sawdust out of all of these dust collectors to be able to produce this. And this isn't all sawdust. I filled it up with wood and paint cans so that I could get enough sawdust. I didn't have enough to fill the whole thing up. So this is a mess in itself that I got to clean up. So I'm going to get to that. But let me figure out some of this first. I keep a notebook in my garage, in my shop here. Put all my notes for different projects. Always have one of these. Worth saving or not? No. <laughs> Gotta get my PPE. Was this the dirtiest thumbnail in YouTube history? Probably not, but in my history, absolutely. Ugh, oh, what a mess. Goodbye, Dust. So I just got to my mom's house and we got a job to do. This is the next thing on our list. So let's see what's going on. Well, we got two uh, uh, closet doors here, and we have new carpet, and it's 
it's not it's not it's not smooth under there there's not not any space for a, for it to move it so we, we figure about maybe a quarter of an inch taken off with uh, make it much more efficient and help our uh, carpet to ask to last a little longer oh my goodness I forgot one major thing I forgot my track <laughs> I can't express to you how defeated I felt I brought everything but the track for my track saw and since it's about a 30 minute drive to my mom's house i decided to leave everything there and just come back a couple of days later there were actually two closets and five closet doors total that needed a bit of a trim off the bottom so that it could run easier on the carpet my mom isn't fond of being on camera so her husband dennis was kind enough to fill in for her how do you like it great great cool done with this we're taking the family to the snow. I was just putting this back in here when this happened. My hose seemed to broke. So I took this out, I got the piece all out. Anyways, I put, I screwed it back in and then it broke again. So this is bro broken like three times. What that tells me is that this hose is seen better days and it's time to replace it. So I went on Amazon and found just like a two foot hose. This one's gotta be five, six feet. Got a two foot hose. I'm gonna attach that when it comes in and that should work a lot better for only about $20. I thought about replacing this entire thing, which would be about 60 bucks. So maybe that's a smarter decision just to get a whole new vacuum. But for $20, eh, it's gonna get me by for now. So I'm gonna do that instead. We took the twins and our dog Oscar to the snow park above Shaver Lake. We had been there several times in the past, but this time was different since a fire had swept through a few years ago. We still had a great time, but came home with some sunburns. I'm not Oscar. Up here. Get down. Mother, look what he did. Look at that. He's literally on me. This was Oscar's first time to the snow and seemed to enjoy sledding more than anything. It was nothing but some good old fashioned family time and at the end we ended up going to lunch to the Hungry Hut, had a great burger and shakes. If you're into innovative shop storage, then this segment is for you. A company reached out to me and sent me this angle grinder tool holder. It holds your angle grinder, your disc, two angle grinders, screwdrivers, wrenches, whatever you want to put on it. So I'm going to put it right here where my glue up checklist is available on my Etsy store. And my glue up checklist is going to find a new home kind of in this area right there. So let's get this installed and hung up on the wall. So I have a home for my angle grinder. I had to shift a few things around to make sure it had full clearance right here. That's the beauty of the French cleat system. I was able to shift everything just a little bit. I don't have a second angle grinder or polish or anything like that, but for the meantime, I got room to store a pair of pliers, my mallet, and a pair of scissors. When I get some more discs, they can go right here or right here. I like this. I'll put a link in the description if you want one, but uh, pretty cool stuff.
just got back from the snow and got a lot more sun than I needed, if you can't already tell. While I was gone, and since we've been back, some very important items have come in the mail, some gifts, if you will, to myself. The hose came in for my dust collector, and I must say, I am pleasantly impressed with the quality of this hose. This, the material just seems really high quality, and for the low, low price that it is, I was quite pleased. So this is gonna work out great for this, and I already checked it, and it fits perfectly into my DeWalt table saw and this Bauer collector. So I have a coupler that this goes with, so let me back up on that. I have a coupler that connects to this so it fits the coupler, not the exact table saw. So also, I got this cool little tool from Hong Dui. It's a uh, carbide scraper for getting glue out in corners. So someone went to my channel, clicked on the affiliate link, didn't purchase what I was uh, promoting, but they purchased this. And when you guys purchase anything through an affiliate link, we get to see what you actually buy. And I saw this and I thought, perfect. I want one too, so I picked myself up one. Thank you for whoever that was that bought this through my affiliate link. Thank you, and it comes with a little tool as well. But for the big surprise, I got this. Now, I did open the box, but I didn't take it out yet. I didn't want to do it until I had it on camera, and I've been waiting for one of these or waiting to purchase one of these for quite a long time. So here it goes. My first Vestal sustainer. Of course, it comes with something in it. Let's see here. And there we are. This is the Festool RO150 FEQ. It's pretty much the nicest sander they have, or most expensive. It has three different settings for rough, fine, and polishing. We'll have to play with this. I, it's a six inch, and I have a bunch of sandpaper coming in from KM Tools as well as the pad that goes with this, looking forward to that. So you'll be seeing this feature in some of my future videos. Really happy to have my first power tool from Festool. Cord, this thing, all kinds of cool stuff. And everything you see here, I'll definitely put links in the description. So if you're interested, check them out. Every baseball season, Jonas and I try to see three A's games. It's the one and only activity you can do that's cheaper in California than anywhere else in America. As long as they keep losing, I can afford seats behind the dugout. This was opening day at the Coliseum, and in true A's fashion, they lost 8-0 to to the Cleveland Indian, I mean, Guardians. I think my favorite part of the game is the seventh inning stretch sing-along. Recently, my friend Robert and I teamed up to upgrade a couple parts of his home. I stopped by after we had finished most of it and wanted you all to meet him and his wife, Sharon. Hey, Logan. How's it going? Come on Hi. in. Come on in. All right. Well, we're excited to show you the project that my husband, Robert, and Logan actually helped us create. This is actually something that I've been wanting done for a very long time. The main thing about this that I very much enjoy is, first of all, kind of compartmentalizing everything. It was just kind of something that we just threw everything together and it was all chaos. We have a Christmas tree and I didn't want to put it in the garage because I didn't want bugs in it. Logan was able to help us put it all the way up here, which is so nice, out of sight, out of mind. I saw this on Pinterest and I really liked it and we collaborated with Logan. 
Ta-da, it's all done. It's part of the house now. We love it. This is going to be all painted. So, because right now it's just, I just caulked the edges and it feels great. You know, we, uh, but I'm going to paint it. Let me show you what else. We'll follow you. Yeah. We'll follow me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so not only did we do the closet, which was basically a huge priority, we did the laundry room. So I'm really more of a like functional person. I like to make things look nice. However, in this case, because this was part of the house, and then Logan helped us get this maple wood shelving, and we painted it. So it looks almost as if it was here already. He also added this long bar I love it. It looks so great. How I helped out with this is, is I helped with the edge banding. I didn't even know what edge banding was. I didn't even know the edge <laughs> banding was a thing. So I learned what edge banding was and was able to actually do that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also was able to put in anchors. I've never put in anchors before, so I learned how to do anchors. You can see I actually tried and failed to put up a clothes rod and uh and made big old holes in in our wall but with the help of some good anchors thank you to logan for teaching me about good anchors we we're able to put this up and we've put many 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 clothes on this thing and it still works great so one of the things that logan told me and advises any homeowner to do and i still need to do this is to purchase a uh, impact driver and just a screw gun so those two things are for any homeowner to make sure that you can just do any project, anytime, anywhere, anything. 